Hello students welcome to Saurav Sir's classes the question is recall that arc sin t also known as sin inverse t is a function with domain minus 1 and 1 and range minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 consider the function fx is equal to arc sin of sin x and answer the following questions as a series of four letters t for true and f for false in order now we know that this is a periodic function with period 2 pi on minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 this function is an identity and on pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 this function is a negative identity hence the function is well defined and continuous everywhere however it is not differentiable at non-zero multiples of pi by 2 therefore option a that is the function fx is well defined for all real numbers x is true option b or rather statement b the function fx is continuous wherever it is defined this is also true and option c the function fx is differentiable wherever it is continuous this is false the next question is a natural number k is called stable if there exists k distinct natural numbers a1 and so on up to a k such that each a i greater than 1 such that 1 by a1 plus so on up to 1 by a k is equal to 1 now show that if k is stable then k plus 1 is also stable using this or otherwise find all stable numbers now it is clear that 1 and 2 are not stable however 3 is stable now let k greater than is equal to 3 be stable hence there are a1 and so on up to ak all distinct and summation 1 by ai is equal to 1 this implies that half plus summation 1 by 2ai is equal to 1 therefore all numbers except 2 are stable the next question is let f be a differentiable function defined on a subset a of r define f star y to be maximum of yx minus fx where x belongs to a whenever the above maximum is finite for the function fx is equal to minus of log x determine the set of points for which f star is defined and find an expression for f star y involving only y and constants now first note that the function fx is defined only for positive values of x now if y greater than is equal to 0 then the first derivative of xy plus log x is y plus 1 by x so this is basically this is basically the first derivative of this which is strictly positive 
for x greater than 0. Hence, xy plus log x is an increasing function and consequently f star y is not defined. Now if y less than 0 then x is equal to minus 1 by y is the only critical point of x y plus natural log of x moreover either of the derivative test tells us that it is in fact the maxima hence the domain of f star y is y less than 0 and f star y is equal to log of minus 1 by y minus 1